Hey beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today is my first segment I'm trying out. It's uh, called Beauty uh, Chat with Lori. And basically it's just discussing some new products that have come out. Um, you know, like either, not necessarily I have it, but they're new products that I've just heard about that just came out. Um, some could be products I do have that are relatively new that just came out. And a little beauty time with some of you guys and just sit down and discuss some of the I'm products. I'm gonna go for the first product is, and it is all over YouTube right now, so you have probably seen many, 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 many videos Becca, over it. Becca, which, I mean, this glare. You know, the Becca, Jaclyn Hill. There's the beautiful Jaclyn Hill right there. She is a very gorgeous young lady, and she had uh, got in with Becca, and they worked together, coming up with, um, in you know, like for her, like she feels this is the perfect, you know, highlighter because it's going to work for everybody, every skin tone, and it is called the uh, Champagne Pop, and it's one of their shimmer, shimmering skin perfector. Uh, Press here powers. is the you know, packaging. To me, I always have to laugh. It looks like a little flying saucer. So there it is, uh, right there. It is in a peachy tone, which you know me with peach colors, coral colors. Just did a video about uh, corals of summer. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the link down below. You, you can check it out. It. You see a little bit when I do it this way, but um, it is a very gorgeous, it's very subtle for me. Like I do have it on. Hats off to Jacqueline Hill. I mean, how exciting for her. And I'm excited because I don't really own a lot of the Becca uh, highlights and I'm starting to get into them a little bit more. There it is there. That's so Champagne the Pop. Becca um, highlighter from Jacqueline Hill. It is $38. Um, you know, depending for where your price range is in purchasing a highlighter or any products, um, it is, you know, it, it is a little bit pricey. Well, it is pricey. Let's just face it. It's not a little. It is pricey. $38. But Becca is a great quality brand. So sometimes you have to look at the part where, I mean, this is a pretty big highlight packaging, you know. So... I think for myself, and this is just me, I do think it is worth the hype. I do think it's a very gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. I do have opal here, and I do think opal is just as good as this. There's the two of them. Which mm -hmm. You can see a little bit when I turn it, the peach, um, but the both of it. very pretty. So each one is so pretty. I'm not even sure how much of a difference my camera's really gonna show. This one is Jaclyn Hill. This one's the Opal. I do think it's worth, like I said, the money. I will give it a nine in highlighters, actually, um, because I do think it's a very gorgeous highlight and I do see myself grabbing it quite so a bit. What do you guys think? Are you, have you purchased the Jaclyn Hill um, highlight? Uh, and what are your thoughts on it? Does it, you know, is it um, everything that you expected it to be? Were you happy? Were you disappointed? Um, do you think it's worth the hype or anything? What's your thoughts on it? And um, I'd like to know. So you can always leave the comments down below for any of these. That's basically why I wanted to do this. Is just, you know, get your guys' opinion and just, like, almost like a little discussion. And we're all, you know, like, giving our input, like, you know, um, anything new and exciting maybe you might have even heard about. So yeah, I really like it. So I am giving that a thumbs up for sure. The next item, I have not got anything from the Anastasia Beverly Hills at all. Nothing. I have not tried one, not that I can even think of, one thing. And I hear so much talk about the brow uh, product. Um, some of her lipsticks, definitely her eyeshadows. Now, the eyeshadows and the palettes have caught my attention different times, and there has been a couple of them that I was going to get, and I kept putting it off and putting it off till where, yeah, it was gone. Sold out, and I regretted it afterwards. So, 
Now, honestly, I can't remember of the last one that she had out. It had some pretty beautiful bright colors and everything, it, but that one didn't call my name. It wasn't right, quite catching me, and it wasn't calling my name, as I like to say. So I didn't pick it up. It just, I don't know. I mean, I would like to see it in person. Some things I prefer to see more in person. Some things I'll see and I'm like, yes, I want that. That is gorgeous. I'd like to buy that. Whatever. I picked up the new you know, one, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture uh, World Traveler palette. I believe I got mine and I believe it's on Sephora and all that kind of jazz now. And it is $30, which I think is pretty good for a palette, honestly. I really think this is a really good price point when it comes to an eyeshadow palette from a high quality brand um, and it's it's really nice like cardboard very durable very durable uh, you know palette um, so I, I like that and when you open it up you will have a nice little mirror there which I don't want to blind everybody but you'll have a nice little mirror uh, you will have your protector there for, for the shadows. It does come with a nice brush. I have not used this, but this looks like a really nice brush um, that I think is going to be great to work with and use. So here's the palette here and all the colors in it. And I think it was just, yeah, the colors obviously drew me in, but this one just really had more of something I wanted to work just with and play with colors in there. There's like just this beautiful variety of shades in there and I feel like you can do all kinds of looks with it. Um, there's some uh, matte shades so in there's here. There's four mattes in here. Six shimmers and a couple are like glitter, glitter kind of um, in them. So I will go ahead and show you this beautiful palette. I'm only going to show you a couple colors. I'm not going to do a full on swatch or anything like that. Um, I think what I'll do is a get ready with me and then I'll swatch them first and do a get ready with me so you can see more. Um, but some of the colors that I'm really loving is uh, this shade Morocco. It's a matte shade and it's really pretty. Um, and it does pick up really nice. I'm pretty impressed with her eyeshadows. They are really nice. Um, they do feel soft, velvety kind of a feel to them. Um, here's another pretty color here called Bellini. Um, it's really pretty. It's more of a shimmer, shimmer shade. Um, pink champagne. Oh my goodness. I fell in love with that one. I think you can get her singles. Um, and I'm thinking pink champagne is in there, but right there's pink champagne. And oh my goodness, that is just beautiful. And fudge. One more. I think fudge is a matte shade also. Yes, it is. And it's a nice brown shade. I'm pretty impressed with how they went on. I do really like it. Um, I haven't had no problem with, I haven't had no problem with Fallout. I didn't notice any with the how ones that you guys so seen this or have you got it? And um, if you did get it, what are your thoughts on it? Um, or are you good? Did I say that already? But are, are you going to pick it up? Um, and do you think it's worth the hype? Do you think Anastasia's eyeshadows are worth the hype? Do you love them? Just, you know, what's your thoughts on the whole thing? For me, again, this is going to be a thumbs up, definitely. And I am going to give it a 9 also. Um... I love the fact that it's $30 and you get a nice variety. I mean, for $30 and the variety of shades that you get here, shows, that's pretty good. And I think the size in this palette of the eyeshadows is I'm very happy. really nice. I would have to say I am very pleased and happy and I can see why her eyeshadows are worth the hype and why people make a... Uh, go uh, googly eel onto so. one other thing that I do have and I'm trying out and I thought I would go ahead and show it to here you um, I had gotten a sample of I'm gonna put a link down below and it's a thing that I get in the mail all the time to 
Sometimes you can get some free little samples mailed to you. Maybe most of you know about it. I don't, I don't know, but I figured those who maybe don't know or never tried it, um, it is worth checking into some of the things where you can get some free samples, obviously. Who doesn't want to try new things and get samples of and, you know, see what they're so like and everything. You know me with hair. I love to try a lot of new hair products. I just, um, there's certain ones I love and I keep going to. Um, I switch it. I wanted to make I, sure I was pronouncing it right or... You know, um, it's dark and lovely. All natural is the company. Um, there you can see right there. This is uh, a coupon that came with my freebies. I'm not bringing out my freebies because I'm still using them, and I'm gonna have stuff everywhere, so I didn't want it to, you know. Um, the free things that I got, the little sam the samples I got, and they're pretty nice samples because I'm still using I them. I got a free sample of a lock and seal. It's a seven day moisture. It's with coconut and moringa oils is what it has here. And I guess it's new. I'm not sure if these line. are in my Sally Beauty Supply. Sometimes they get these kind of brands in there. I did see online, it looks like Target sells them, drugstore.com um, sells them. What I had gotten is, I got a liquid oil and a cream. Uh, the liquid provides say. initial moisture and preps curl, curls to absorb oil. Um, and then the oil that they gave, it uh, penetrates the hair with a lightweight blend of oils. And then there's a cream, which is rich sealing cream to, pre to prevent loss of moisture for seven but days. But I really am impressed with this brand right now, the, the, these products. So I am definitely going to go and get full sizes and really get a good work with it. Of their products. Like, I have their a products. coupon here, get six, $6 off any three. That's pretty good. So, and I'm definitely going to get three of the products. And it's okay. good until December, the end of the year. So, um, I will put a link down to some of that free thing, free stuff or whatever it is. And um, some things are hit and miss. Some things I don't bother with. Some right. things, yeah. And then two products that I do and not have I here. love, and it's Laura Geller. And you know I love a lot of Laura Geller I'm just going to put a link down below to Laura Geller's site and you can look at them yourself because they're brand new. They just came out and she has a lot of new, brand new things. She has something for the brows. She has some gorgeous baked lipsticks or something, I think it is. Um, and then the thing that I was like, oh my God, she has two palettes. They are $45 each, it's, I believe. It's a nice long palette, like the Laura Pro. She has two of them. Uh, one is a cool tone one, and um, it's cool tone, smoky kind of thing that you can do, which the smoky, you know, that's in for sure because you're seeing a lot of smoky palettes. And, and then the other totally one is nude tones because, you know, the nude tones and the natural tones, I mean, that's, I don't think that's ever going to go away. That's always a huge thing for sure. And um, they're her baked eyeshadows. So if you're familiar with Laura Geller and her baked products, her baked blushes, her baked eyeshadows themselves, all those kind of things, um, her balance and brighten, you know, that's a that's a baked uh, powdered foundation. That is, I love that thing very much. Um, I'm pretty excited to try one of these. So palettes. did you guys even hear about that? I wondered if any of you guys even knew. So what are your guys' about thoughts that? on those palettes? And so are you intrigued products? and interested in trying them out? Um, do you think it's worth the hype? You know, like what do you what do you think of Laura Geller and her products? I you know me, I love Laura Geller products, so I am always in a crazy, you know, I can't uh, rate the palettes, so I can't say you know for sure but I can tell you her baked eyeshadows I have used in the past are phenomenally good I mean I have really liked the ones Thanks I so have much for trying. trying and this is my first uh, beauty and challenge with this uh, if you did give me a thumbs up and uh, I would so much appreciate that and obviously it would help me very much in getting my videos out there more um, also if you are not subscribed to my channel I would love to have you you can join us uh, each week and I do a little different stuff on beauty just depends on what's going on and um yeah so you can just join me each week and it's free to subscribe there's no charge or anything like that and as always be please remember to just be yourself 
love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you all take care and I will see you then. Love you all. Bye-bye.